Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by simpletut.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a membership expiry system. Uh, this can be very useful for websites looking to uh, set up reoccurring billing and payments for services that they provide on their website. So for example, if you had a service lasting uh, 365 days a year or just 30 days a month or even just a few days um, you can use this system and employ it on your website to allow um, active membership holders um, to actually have access to your content and users that have unvalid licenses or who have set up their memberships but not uh, made their uh, next payment automatically restrict access to that user until they set up their uh, or renew their membership. Uh, so just to give you a quick demonstration in this tutorial, we will be carrying on from our previous tutorial where we actually set up and built the registration system itself. But in this tutorial, we're going to be setting up the membership system. A brief demonstration here, of course, you can see we're already displaying a message. message. Uh, membership has expired. Um, in the code which we'll develop, you can see we're easily specifying the number of days uh, that the membership lasts um, and we're pulling this information in from you know a database so for example we can set this to 365 um, and of course we're pulling this in from the database so if we look at our record you can see we're using the timestamp um, and if I refresh this because obviously I've changed the days you can see it comes up saying active membership and this is exactly where you put your links or your content uh, which you're restricting access to dependent on uh, your membership expiry system. So this is just a brief demonstration of what we're going to be developing um, but obviously if you decide to follow along in this tutorial I'm going to explain everything and explain the code and show you the code uh, step by step show you how to implement this again if you want to learn how to actually build your registration system first then there'll be a link in the description of this video that you can follow along for as we develop the registration system first and you can return to this video to incorporate uh, and integrate your membership system now as I previously explained uh, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is actually setting up a membership expiry system. So um, we're going to be starting from a point where we've already developed our registration system and we're ready to incorporate this next uh, level, this next part of the development. Um, now if you don't actually have a registration system yet, then that's fine. There will be a link in the description of this video uh, to the tutorial where we actually built this registration system. Um, and that's a very in-depth tutorial. I cover everything from just designing the initial layout uh, with HTML and CSS to the PHP itself which generates the functionality. So if you want that then there'll be a link in the description of this video to that tutorial and then you can return to this one to set up your membership system. But as I said in this tutorial we're just covering the membership system so let's get started. So this is obviously the registration page. I'm just going to launch this in Explorer and just give you a, a, a quick demo of what we've developed. So in the previous tutorial we created our login pages, the register page and email password and of course if I just create a test account, so for example if I just said um, let's just create a check uh, um, a test account so I'm just going to register it takes me here so I can just log in and of course this is our uh, registration system you can update the account return to your account etc now what we want to do is actually create that membership system which will actually lock users in and lock users out change the messages that are displayed how do we do that well that's uh, exactly what we're gonna do so let's just minimize that now for whatever page you want to actually uh, run this check you want to check um, you're gonna need to incorporate the database and you're gonna need to incorporate your front end page the page you want to display that message or restrict that content 
So let's have a look in. So let's have a look in the database now. Um, in this example, this is my uh, table. In my case, it's called user. Of course, whatever table you set up when you were developing the registration system, then uh, you would be in that table. Um, now, this is the record in the file that we created. Um, this is the user. And as you can see, several things very important. The user ID, but the main thing we're going to be working with is this timestamp which is when the user registered and we can calculate you know 24 hours from this time we can calculate 365 days or 30 days uh, whatever membership type system you want to set up we're going to be working via this registration date and if that doesn't make sense to you then don't worry it will make a lot more sense to you as we proceed with the tutorial so here we are we're on the uh, account page um, and what I want to actually just set up is um, if I come to uh, my code um, what you're going to see up here is I have um, I've got a record set um, as you can see uh, and basically all I'm doing is I'm I'm filtering the record set for uh, based on the user ID to return the user so if we just look in the uh, bindings you'll see I have a record set here which is user it's just filtering it based on the user ID the session variable that's created it's called mm uh, underscore username we're filtering that um, actually well we're filtering on username actually not user ID um, to find the appropriate record for the user that's logged in. That's how we're displaying the user's first and last name here. We're filtering the record set to find that. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use that same thing to calculate what when the membership either has or hasn't expired. So what you need to do is underneath the record set in the code, so this is very important because you need to know the user's uh, information before you get to, to the next uh, area of code. We're just going to create some more uh, PHP, so opening and closing PHP tags. Now sometimes uh, within PHP uh, sessions can be forgotten. Um, if that if that sort of makes sense so they can be kind of overlooked so what we do is we say session underscore start um, and that just kind of um, forces it to check and kind of remember now the first thing we want to do is we want to capture that timestamp that uh, I referenced to earlier in in the database which tells us when the user actually registered and what I what I want to do is I want to store that in a variable so I'm going to store that in a variable called uh, users reg date and what I want to do is I just want to equal that to the value of the uh, timestamp which is coming from the record set so we're taking the value of that timestamp and we're storing it in this temporary variable. The next thing is probably more complex but we want to run a, a calculation to work out um, the uh, date of expiry. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable and we're just going to say membership ends and we're going to equal that to and this is where we're going to have to uh, do our calculation so I'm just going to write out this code and uh, once I've written it I'll just explain it to you I think that'll be a little bit easier than trying to explain it as I write it okay so I've gone ahead and I've just written the code out so basically all we're doing is we're running a simple calculation we're taking the timestamp as I previously said we're turning it into the variable we're placing it here and we're adding the number of days um, and this allows us to really simply just put that down into the code. So we can literally just say 30 days, one day, uh, 365 days, and it will work out the date that the membership should expire. Because all it's doing is when you when the user registers, um, 
it's putting in the uh, it's generating that timestamp of the exact registration date this calculation is including the date of their registration here because we're taking the variable we're putting it into the calculation we're adding this amount of time so it's 365 days or it's one day it doesn't matter and we're uh, storing that date which is when the membership is expired and we're storing that in this variable here which is now called membership ends so what we now do is we can take this because we have the date that the a membership should expire in and we can come back to our design view and we can create whatever we want so for example here um, I'm gonna just create a simple div um, and I'm actually just gonna style it here so I'm just gonna say that this is gonna have a width of um, 300 pixels a height of a, a height uh, height of a hundred pixels and I'm going to give it a margin uh, to center it um, and also I'll probably actually set a margin from the top and bottom so if we just look at the div here uh, let's say example so if we just look at the div, we've just created this, okay? And I'm just going to say uh, membership has um, expired, please renew. Um, and I'm actually gonna copy that out twice. And here I'm just gonna say membership is live please use our site you know so just to give you a really simple uh, understanding of you know how the system is working and that it is working so all we have to do now is actually just put a, a PHP if statement in so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to basically um, create a, an if statement so I'm going to say if and then here's uh, where we're going to put in our condition um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, first find out what the um, current current date is so year month day and once I know that what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say if the current date is less then the variable uh, which is membership ends do this okay and then here we're gonna open up our PHP opening and closing tags we're gonna say else so actually we're gonna have to close that statement say else open up this and then here again we're just going to close off that statement. Um, so actually, this is, I'm afraid, this is actually the wrong way around. The first div tag is actually going to be if the uh, membership is live. And this one is going to be if membership has expired. Um, so I apologize for making that mistake. Um, now, if we actually come to test this in our browser, you can see the membership is live because it's not been uh, what was it we set we set one day it's not been one day since we registered in fact I registered this account um, I believe uh, depending how long this tutorial has taken about a few minutes ago so let's just come back to our data and I'm just gonna come to this timestamp field and I'm gonna set this back to the sixth so you know for a fact that this membership will have expired. So let's come back to our page. And now you can see a very, very, and now you can see when I've loaded this up in my browser again, it's saying membership has expired. So if I was to change this, 
back to uh, some other date. So for example, so you can see uh, if I was to set this in the code from one day to 365, save that, I come back here, I can refresh it, you can see here it says membership is live and if again remember this was on the 6th so if this is less than that so one day I refresh the page membership has expired so you can see that the code is working and all we're doing here is um, just to explain we're finding out the user because we're filtering the record set to find out who the user is um, we're then turning the timestamp of the registration date into a variable. We're using that variable in a calculation to work out when the um, user's membership expires based on the amount of time we specify. In this case it's one day, it could be any amount of time. And then all we're doing is we're using if statements and conditions to either provide access or restrict access. So basically here, you would uh, have whatever mes message that you want uh, with all the links and the restricted content to you know users that you want uh, that have a valid membership. And here, this is the message they see when they are restricted because their membership has expired. And you probably just have a link here where they could go and renew their membership or make payment to renew their membership. So this is a really simple and easy way to uh, create your membership system and restrict access uh, to their account. Thank you very much for following along with this video tutorial. Um, I hope it was useful for you and uh, will help you take your projects to the next level. Um, but I'd just like to take this opportunity to encourage you to visit our official website, simpletut.com. Again, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Um, here we post not only all of our other tutorials, but uh, a lot of other helpful uh, areas for you, such as our ask a question area, where you can post a question based on this or any other of our tutorials, and a member of our team will be more than happy to get back to you. Um, of course, you can browse our database of videos, which cover everything from PHP classes uh, to various other jQuery, JavaScript, uh, content management systems, and as I said previously, our other tutorials on building registration systems. We also have a freebie section where you can uh, access an, a variable, various number of uh, free downloads of which we're adding to all the time. And of course, if you do feel um, that this uh, has helped you, then we always ask our clients and users to uh, click this button through to our official Facebook page. Well where you'll be able to actually uh, like us on Facebook and receive um, regular updates from us uh, when we release new tutorials, information, documentation, help, etc. Um, I'd also like to take this chance just to introduce you to one of our new projects uh, which is cssmenucreator.com again there'll be a link in the description and if you uh, want to create your own uh, CSS menus this is definitely uh, a, a product and service you will uh, be interested in because it literally writes the code for you. Again, there'll be a link in the description. Um, if you are looking for uh, PHP uh, applications or pre-built websites, then please visit our official website, SiteEasy.com. There'll be a link in the description uh, where you can access a, a various number of products, including pre-built user registration systems, site search, and much more. We also offer pre-built websites, including e-commerce, social networks, content management, file upload, property listings, much more. Uh, we are also an official PayPal partner. And if you have any questions about our products or services, then please click on the support option on our website. And we'd be more than happy to get back to you 